Thank you for joining us today on SMP TV. My name is Jordan. You may have seen me in the opening video. You may have not, uh, but I'm glad to be with you here today. And today we're going to talk about adoration. So some of you might have walked into the church before, and lo and behold, you walk in, and there's some people kneeling, looking at something on the altar, and it's just deathly quiet. And you wonder, one, why are they there? Two, how are they here for so long? And three, why would I want to copy that? Why would I want to imitate them and spend my time there? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about adoration and the power of it and why we are all called to go and attend the Lord in adoration. St. John Paul II tells us that being before the Blessed Sacrament is an inexhaustible source of holiness for each and every one of us. Just being before the Lord, he radiates himself onto us and our hearts begin to be changed. That's amazing. Just like as you go outside and before the sun and as the rays beat down on you, you become more tan. When you're in the church and you're before the Lord, he radiates onto you and your hearts begin to change. That's amazing. All we have to do is spend time with him. And what a gift that is. St. Alphonsus tells us that 15 minutes before the Blessed Sacrament will be more powerful than any other spiritual exercise we'll do in a day. 15 minutes will be more powerful than any other spiritual exercise aside from the sacraments. That's truly a gift that God has given us as he comes to us in the body, in the bread. Amazing. So, if I want to go to adoration, what's the proper etiquette? I don't want to look like a fool, right? I want to walk in, I want to know what's going on. So, if you walk in and the sacrament's out, genuflect all the way to the ground if you're able to. If you're able to, go on both knees. It's not that it's required, but it's a beautiful tradition. It's a way of being reverent to the Lord as he's present before us. While you're in the church, if Father or someone starts to bring the sacrament out, kneel down. If someone or Father decides to put the sacrament away, kneel. You know, it's just being reverent as someone comes or goes, just as you would stand or sit for a woman at a table. It's important to note that being in adoration, or in adoration itself, is not more important or more powerful than the Mass. But it's simply an extension of it, an extension of the celebration of the Eucharist that we have with us. It itself is not a sacrament, but we're celebrating the sacrament by being present with him and adoring the Lord. So, next time you're driving by, or next time you're at home, and you know there's adoration, and you have some care, you have some desire, you have some hurt, some suffering, or you have a great joy, come in before the Lord and offer it up to him. Give him everything we have. He'll take our suffering, he'll take our joy, and he'll turn it into something beautiful. That's why he died on the cross for us. Each one of us is called to spend time before the Lord. And what better spot to do it in adoration when he is right there and physically present with us. Just like it's better to go to a football game live and watch it there, it's so much better to come here and see the Lord live right in front of us in the sacrament. So thank you for joining us today, and I hope to see you in the adoration soon. God bless.